What's going on, YouTube? Vicious coming at you today for another review. Um, kind of kicking it old school for me. A little bit, a little bit. For today's review, today I'm going to be reviewing the Arknid Mechanical Mod from iTaste. Not a mechanical mod user, so this is like uh, this is kind of an interesting thing for me personally. Um, so it's just uh, it's, it's been a while since I actually used a Mac, man. Um, so let me just uh, let me go ahead and uh, get up close and personal with the Arachnid from iTaste. All right, folks, this is the up close and personal of the arachnid from iTaste. Um, typical plastic box that iTaste seems to like absolutely love fucking putting everything in. I'm assuming that China got a fucking disc group discount on these boxes. Um, look at the back of it positive connection pin, so it's an adjustable pin. Uh, telescopic tube it goes from 18350 up to 18650. <sighs> Gives you a working current. It's got locker in. Yada yada yada. Input volt 3.2 to 4.3. I don't know. Whatever. Typical shit. Um, shit that you don't normally see on a mechanical. So kind of interesting. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, open her up. Okay, after some fighting with it, I finally got it opened and ready to roll. So let's just go and look at this. So the package itself, there's nothing under there. It's just the little foam package. Okay, so this is the arachnid. Uh, and it, it feels a little janky. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, it's a... Uh, let's see here. Let's go and take off the bottom pin so you can check this out. Um, it's, I don't know if you see, there you go, AG925, which I'm gonna assume means that these are actual, um, actual, uh, silver contacts, which are kind of cool. Um, I'm gonna assume that this is magnetic. I don't know, I'm gonna assume that it's gonna be a magnet button. I might take that apart for you guys just so we can see. It's got the ITS logo there, it's got some vent holes down here at the bottom. Some vent holes through the uh, insulator. So that's cool. Uh, stainless steel construction, it feels like. Um, you know, down in there, machining's pretty good. You know, there's the, uh, there's the 510. It's got the little lines cut out for it, I guess, if uh, you were going to use something that needed those lines. Or what have you. So let's just go ahead and telescope, it, telescope this thing out. Um... It, it moves pretty quick. I mean, it's not like a, um, it's it's not super loose, you know. And if you shake it, it will move around and it's thing here. But I suppose that's probably pretty typical for a telescopic device. You know, um, let me just go ahead. And, okay, so I just paused the video so I could go ahead and expand it on out. It's a typical telescopic design. Nothing new. Nothing innovative. You know, they've got this spider web design that continues on down to the, uh, onto the, uh, extended tube here. When it reaches its end, it won't unscrew all the way, so it just, it's got to stop. So it just stops right there. It won't unscrew anymore. Um, top cap. Unscrew that. It's got the same silver plate of contacts, and it's adjustable. All right, looking down inside of it, you know, it, it, it's not an overly thick mod. It's really, really light. Um, it feels, it reminds me of like an aluminum mod or something like that. So, I mean, that's, uh, that is that. Um, I was going to take apart the switch itself so we can kind of see what's going on down there in it. I could not get it on screw. And I'm not going to force it. I mean, it's a solid, solid throw. It's a little stiff. I actually kind of like it. I'm pretty certain that if you were to set it down, it's not going to auto fire. Um, on the case itself, it actually has which way you turn it to lock it or unlock it. So I think that's kind of cool. 
you know, um, it, it's pretty self-explanatory when it comes to a locker room. But the fact that they did actually go that little extra step and do it is kind of cool. You know, the engraving, the engraving, while, while the mod feels cheap, you know, I'm not going to lie. This doesn't, you don't hold this in your hand and think, oh, wow, that's a high quality mod. You know, it feels cheap. But it's it's really not that bad. I mean, it's it's a solid device. Everything else. I mean, you know, it's 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 a telescopic mechanical mod. I mean, what the fuck? Do you, what what can you honestly expect? You know. Um, now here's one thing I did notice, and let me put this thing all back together so I can show you. Okay, so I got the uh, I got the mod put back together. I got my Sony VTC five up in there. Okay, I'm using my atomizer. My Infinite CLT version two. Okay, um, it screws on. It screws on nice and evenly. It's nice and flush, right? But it looks kind of wonky, and I'll show you what I mean. And I, I it, no matter what RDA I screwed on this, it just didn't look right. Okay, it just, I don't, it doesn't look right to me. It's just with the with the stylization spider webs that they have here with any RDA. Well, it doesn't look bad together. It looks kind of like a sonic screwdriver in my opinion. And it's just, I don't know, it's a little off in my opinion. It just, it doesn't quite fit. Okay. Now I've got my pin screwed all the way up. Got the RDA screwed all the way down. Juicy as shit here. Okay, my ugly ass fucking coils. Nothing. No fire. No smoke, no vapors, no nothing. Now, this actually took me a little while to actually work out because, you know, the pin is screwed all the way up and I couldn't figure out. I actually have to go in and I have to adjust. Okay, right now, as you can see, my 510 connection is flush with the bottom of my device. I actually have to drop it down that far, okay, to get it to make connection. And that, in my book, is a negative for this uh, mechanical. Okay, so I've got the uh, the 510 on my Eddy screwed down, so to make connection, it's, it's nice and flush. And we have vapors. All right, this is a point two build. And it'll 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 spot a web out, but I don't know, man. It's kind of weak in my opinion. With a fully charged BTC five. That just seems kind of weak. Okay. Right. Unlocked. It will sit there. And it will do it. And that is the up close and personal of the arachnid. And that was the up close and personal view of the arachnid from I Taste. Um, pros and cons. I kind of went over in the up close and personal. You know, cons. Uh... If you don't have an adjustable 510 on your Addy, I don't know if it's going to make contact and I don't know if it's going to work. So there is that to keep in mind. You know, most um, most devices that I, that I personally have any type of deal with have an adjustable 510, so it won't be a problem. But, you know, if, if Anakin would have just taken and just added just a little bit more to that, five, to, to that, that, that pin, you know, I think it would have been a lot better. You know, pros, it is silver contacts. Um, you know, it's, it feels good in your hand. It's got a really nice hand feel to it. It's got a really nice throw on the button. You know, it's just, you know, it, it's, 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 it's a good device, you know, for what it is. I'm not overly impressed with it by any stretch of the imagination, but I haven't been impressed with mechanicals in a long time. My Sigali box just totally, totally ruined me on it, you know. Um, as a matter of fact, here, let me show you something, okay. So we got fully charged, 0.2 volts. All right. That's the vapors off of the arachnid. Okay, so that was the uh, the arachnid at, you know, firing off. According to Ohm's law, okay, with a 4.2 volt battery, and a 0.3 resistance coil, it should be 58 watts. Okay. Sigali box turned down to 55 watts. Same coil, same everything. So, 
that's um that right there is why I use a cigar box, a regulated box mod. So but it is what it is. Um uh yeah, that's the up close and personal. Um me personally I wouldn't run out and buy this device just because, you know it's just, I don't know. I mean, it's just a telescopic, you know. It, it's a solid device, you know. Think if somebody wants to get into dripping, you know, into mechanicals, I think it would be a good one for you. Um, but I'm just I'm not impressed. I'm just not, you know. Um, it's better than the, the MXZ the 134 MX. It's it's a thousand times better than that. But Jesus fucking Christ, what the fuck isn't better than the MX? You know. So, you know, at least this time, you know, you've got kind of cool spider webs versus, you know, the stupid fucking wonky bam horoscope. Ooh. You know, so step up in the right direction. Then again, keep at it. Maybe one day you'll actually make a device that I will be fucking impressed with other than the MVP. So keep going, guys. You can do it. Other than that, people, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Um, got some other stuff coming in the near future. So check it out. And stay on people.